This is just a series of short clips to keep people up to speed with what's happening. It's been about three days of prep on the house, um, prep for the house move. So basic demolition and salvage of materials I'm learning. One person from the house moving company has been at the house every day and basically started with um, demolishing walls in the basement, opening up holes in the walls, removing drywall to let light in. There's no power, there's no heat, there's no water. Um, so he's He's got to get light in naturally. Uh, so he's removing drywall, salvaging siding, salvaging lighting fixtures, salvaging plumbing fixtures, anything that's kind of worth anything. He's taking the time to pull it apart. And um, I guess some of it I get to keep, but some of it he'll probably take with him and some of it might go to the new owners of the house to help them when they go to put it together again. I believe that's their plan for the, for the siding. All which is great because it means it doesn't go in the landfill. Um, we're looking at photos here. This is still, I think, the first day. He's removing siding. He's, uh, you'll see inside, bashed a bunch of holes in the walls. As it goes on, you'll see sort of progressively more and more debris in the inside as over the days he's began to take more and more things apart. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm learning how to do this. I haven't put a lot of editing effort into this one, just strung a bunch of clips together. This is all from the first day still. He thinks he's about half done now. As this goes on, you'll notice he starts to take the chimney apart. There'll be an exterior shot coming up. The house with no chimney on the outside. The house has got a big masonry firebox and chimney system that goes all the way down from a footing below the basement all the way up through the center of the house. And it has to be removed from the top down until it gets below floor level of the upper floor, which is what they intend to take away. That hole in the wall there will be for one of the big long beams that goes under the house for when they lift it. There'll be another one near it and two more at the other end of the house. A few close-up shots for those that are interested. Just um, in interesting the difference in building materials from 1961 till now. Sheathing on the outside is plank, not OSB or plywood. House wrap is tar paper, not Tyvek. Shouldn't be too difficult to make a new house a little more energy efficient than this one was. He's even saving two by fours. Um, he's not pulling the nails out of them, but he's um, tidying them up and we'll, we'll make use of those somehow. Give them away. I'll keep them for projects or we'll use them in the construction for, I don't know, odds and ends, things that are you just need waste lumber for. This is the current day. Today, uh, you see the chimney is gone. If you look back earlier in the clip, you'll see a three foot tall brick chimney that used to be there. I gotta learn how to get this camera to focus. Chunks of chimney. I've got the truck backed up to the front door there because I was taking my um, fireplace insert out. So I'm gonna try to sell that brick from the chimney he's throwing around back on the ground. I'm going to make a pile of brick. We need to segregate all of these materials because um, it's a lot cheaper to dispose of it if you um, have it all segregated as opposed to a big mix. In fact, I don't think they'll let you bring a big mix to a landfill. Drywall needs to be separate from bricks, separate from wood materials.
<laughs> In 10 years, this is going to be fun to look at. Drywall stacked up. I'm going to come back and throw a tarp over that to keep it dry so it doesn't turn to mush when we go to clean it up. That's all for this one.